Axio Mark is broken on Shaco. I mean, just look at these one shots. Stop that. I'm obviously just joking. On a more serious note, Axio Mark is broken on Shaco. Literally. Axio Mark is one of the new items added with a preseason 12 update into League of Legends. And it seems to be an assassin item as it gives 55 VD, 10 lethality, and 25 ability haste. Which is quite abysmal for 3000 gold, as that means that the item only has an 88% gold efficiency. Thus, it has to make up with its passive, otherwise, the item will be considered trash. But oh boy, it does. It goddamn does make up for all of it with its passive, which restores 25% of your ultimate cooldown whenever you get a takedown. And when you pair it with Navori, an item that reduces your non-ultimate ability cooldown by 20%, whenever you crit, you can make insane plays where you can get to constantly reset all of your abilities. This item can be quite overpowered on champions like Noxion for instance, where you go in, get a few kills, have your ultimate reset and then instantly ult again to finish off anyone who is still left alive. And the reason why this works is because unlike Navori, Axio Mark reduces 25% of your ultimate's total cooldown. Meaning that, for instance, if your ultimate has a cooldown of 106 seconds, Axio Mark's passive will reduce its cooldown by 25%, aka 28 seconds every time you get a takedown. Thus, 100 divided by 20 means that you need 4 takedowns to fully reset your ultimate's cooldown. But here's where this really funny interaction with ultimate hunter comes in. What this rune does is reduce your ultimate cooldown by a lot, from 108 seconds to 89 to be more exact. Thus, Axio Mark has its passive reduced from 28 to 22 seconds. Except it doesn't. Meaning that instead of needing 4 kills to get your ultimate back, you only need 3. Three. Thus, you can jump in, get a triple kill and then ult again for the quadra and so on. Now this interaction is either a bug or a really crazy feature. Either way, I don't have 5 weeks to read the wikipedia to find out. Also, I know I'm giving the example in a custom game with bots, but really my intention is not to show you an exact real game scenario, what I want to show you is the interaction, then explain how powerful this shit can actually be. So. How does all of this lead us to Shaco? The answer is simple, Shaco's clone. With Shaco you can do the same, especially with Ultimate Hunter. You jump in, get a triple kill, then boom, the second your clone explodes, you can instantly use it again, which can lead to absolute insane confusion for the enemy team. And if you further combine this item with Navori Quick Blades, you can do insane plays where you can reset both your Qs and your ultimate's cooldowns. Except, you can't. You cannot do any of that with Shaco. And that's because after you ult, you go in, get one, two, three kills, the clone explodes and nothing. You still have a giant cooldown on your ultimate. The item doesn't work on Shaco. But then I thought about it. With Shaco, unlike with Nocturne or Trinomare, what the fuck? Anyways, unlike with many other champions, your ultimate doesn't go on cooldown the second you use it. You still get to use your ultimate in the form of controlling the clone. Thus, it makes sense for the Scythe not to work on Shaco. Except, when you have your clone spawned and get a kill, you still get the item's passive sound and visual effects. Meaning that the item's passive acknowledges that you got a takedown. Thus, should give the cooldown reduction. Hmm, perhaps that's just an oversight. But Shaco's ultimate doesn't go on cooldown only after the clone dies. In this instance, the ultimate has an 80 seconds cooldown. The clone lasts for a total of 18 seconds. And as we can see, after the clone explodes, the ultimate only has 62 seconds of cooldown left. Meaning that Shaco's ultimate does go on cooldown the second you use it. Axio Mark could easily reduce your ultimate's cooldown then. Thus, we debunked it. It's simply just a Shaco bug. Except I've tested Axio Mark on Victor as well. Victor's ultimate is very similar to Shaco's. Yes, he doesn't spawn a pet, but he does spawn a laser storm, which he can control for a period of time. Unlike Shaco, his ultimate only goes on cooldown after the Chaos Storm has expired. But as according to a wiki, quotation mark, if the user's ultimate ability does not start its cooldown as soon as it is cast and flux is triggered in the meantime, the cooldown refund takes effect after the ability goes on cooldown. End quotation mark. 
Thus, it should work. But as expected, it doesn't. Except that it does. It does and it doesn't, really. It appears as if you're killing an enemy with the first stick of your ultimate, you don't get a cooldown reduction on it. But if you kill an enemy after the first stick of your ultimate, you do get a cooldown. Also, if you hover over the item before using your ultimate, you can see how it shows by how many seconds the passive will reduce your ultimate's cooldown. But if you hover the passive while the ultimate is active, boom, it's zero. That's also exactly what you'll see when you hover the passive before and after using Sheiko's ultimate. And that made me ask myself, maybe you only get a cooldown back if you kill your enemies with a clone explosion, or maybe Sheiko himself has to get a kill, or maybe none of these methods worked. Sheiko doesn't get a cooldown back no matter what, as long as the clone is up. Anyways, I went ahead and tested more champions, to see who else this item is bugged on. When Yep, she doesn't give a fuck. This item works on her. Jin? Yeah, he's also good. Then I went ahead and asked myself, hmm, this is probably just bugged on champions with pets. Thus, I tested item on Annie, and it actually doesn't work on her either. Alright then, so I'm just fing kidding with you. Of course, it works on Annie, who's a fing AP caster, but it doesn't work on an AD assassin, whom the item was fing made for in the first place. <sighs> let's, let's just move on. Yorick also works on Yorick. But on Shaco, he's the only champion this item doesn't work on. Probably I didn't actually test every champion in the game. But still, this is so sad. Oh, but for real now, this is so bullshit, this is so fucked, this is not right, this is not cool. Why does Shaco always have to suffer, man? In fact, nothing seems to be proper in this game anymore to begin with. There's no general rule on things, but everything is simple. Every interaction is unique now. Everyone has to be special. Let's look at Axiom Mark for a moment again. Why does its passive only work in certain conditions? I mean, it works on any Senyorix's pets, but not on the clone. It works on Jin's first ultimate shot, but not on the first stick of Victor's ultimate. Does Riot test to make sure this item works on every champion individually? Thus, that's why it only works properly on some champions, but not others? Or they just add the item in and hope it works on everyone, and when it doesn't, they just call it a feature? Can you see how everything is slowly becoming overly complex in this game for no reason? Every single new thing that gets added has to be unique and to do something crazy, because that's just how it is. Don't get me wrong, I don't really have anything against Riot Games. They have to add new stuff to the game so players don't lose interest, which is great at times, but it really sucks to see that sometimes that stuff is just broken. Ultimately, I hope Riot will address this and either fix it or give an explanation on how Axiom Arcs is passive is working on pretty much any champion but Shaco. Because if they don't, it might just go to show that maybe, maybe they just stopped caring as much as one would hope they should.